Hello, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how TorPass works. So as soon as you make a purchase on our website, our system will send you uh, your mobile pass links. You click on them and this is what it looks like. So this is a Charleston TorPass, but the Savannah TorPass works exactly the same. So you see here, this is a three day pass. Um, choose three featured attractions, plus visit as many standard attractions as you want for three days. You see um, a button, we're going to get to that next. Uh, your name, the number of people on your pass, your pass ID, which you use for calling us for support, and your activation date, which we have not set yet. And um, Okay, so the first thing I want to do is show you how to save this to your home screen. So I have an iPhone. You see here at the very extreme bottom in the center, you see a blue box with an up arrow. So if you click on that, click add to home screen and confirm it. You see it is indicated right here so I can quickly find it at any time. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is activate our pass. So um, what you're gonna do is go to this activation screen, click here in this yellow box, a calendar pops up and let's activate it for today. So I'm gonna hit activate pass and there we go. So you see that the green bar here at the top says your pass is available today. If your pass was not active, that bar would be red and would say your pass is not available today. Um, okay, so um, step two, select your featured tours. I'm gonna click on that button. It takes me to the featured tours page and from this page, I can select what I wanna do. So um, let's go ahead and look at a gray line city bus tour so each detailed or each attraction page has details on their page <clears throat> such as the booking arrival instructions some attractions or featured attractions re require reservations um, and some of them do not so this attraction here it tells you to click the see available times button so we just follow the instructions here. So let's select today, select two people. Let's see what times they have available for today. So they have all of these times I can choose from. So let's choose 3 p.m. I'm gonna select this time and I'm going to confirm and book. It takes a second to think and then it will uh, book right here. So there you go, the booking has been created. We also received the text message with that information and we also receive an email booking confirmation with arrival instructions. So let's go back to our pass. Okay, and then if you go here to the home screen and scroll down, you'll see that uh, Thursday, April 1st, Gray Line City Bus Tour has been selected. So let's go back to the featured attraction. So I clicked on the navigation bar in the bottom the, where it says featured and um, you'll see that that attraction now has a green check on it. So attractions that don't require reservations, such as um, uh, Boone Hall Plantation, so they have booking arrival instructions, steps to check in, so you just present your pass at the gate, they click this green vendor check-in button, enter their three-digit code and check you in. So that's how that works. So in addition to the featured, which I showed you how to book, we also have standard attractions. So in this red navigation bar at the bottom, I'm gonna click standard. And you can visit as many of these as you wish for the number of day pass that you purchased. Um, so for instance, let's click on the old exchange. Um, why you should visit, their address, the hours, you can call them, visit their website, click here for directions, here's a map. And then also nearby, it shows you what is nearby that attraction. So here at the bottom, Rainbow Row is literally within steps of the old exchange. So you may want to go there and snap a picture or a selfie or Instagram, uh, you know, whatever you are into. And um, so back to the navigation bar at the bottom, I'm going to click Map. And this is probably one of the most powerful features of the pass is if you're in an unfamiliar city, not knowing what's around you and where you should go. So um, the green dot shows where I am right now, but if I were downtown, that green dot 
and say I just got finished with a carriage tour and I'm trying to figure out what else I want to do, I can click on this and say, okay, the old Slave Mart Museum right next door. Um, what else do we have here? Uh, we got the City Market, the Museum at Market Hall, uh, the Powder Mag Museum. So you can basically use this to say, okay, what's near me and what, what can I see on the pass? So you just go in, show them your pass. They click the vendor check-in button, check you in. That's how that works. So um, I'm going to click on the navigation bar, this more button. You see we have free attractions. These are attractions that are landmark attractions that everybody wants to see when they come to Charleston, like the Pineapple Fountain, the famous churches, the city market. Um, also, we have the Dash free trolley bus here. We have the map. So here's the free trolley map. You can find that on the pass at any time. Um, click on the more again. You see parking and restroom locator. So when Charleston gets really busy, these parking lots and finding out where they are is very important. So um, this helps you um, find parking. And that is it. So that concludes my tour of your pass or of the uh, tour pass. If you have any questions, let us know or you can give us a call at any time and uh, have a great day.